If you're interested in finding out what it's like to cross the border from Mexico into the U.S. from Tijuana, stay tuned for my complete guide. In this video, I'm taking you with me from downtown Tijuana to the pedestrian crossing at San Isidro and onward via trolley to San Diego's Gaslamp District. As a bonus, I'll also show you how easy it is to walk across the border using the Cross Border Express at Tijuana's airport. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hey guys, I'm Trey for Two Get Expats. I recently traveled to Tijuana twice as I'm super fascinated by this controversial border town. If you're planning a trip of your own, don't miss my video on the best things to do in Tijuana with many surprising facts. I'll add a link to it for you in the description below. Now let's get started with this video, giving you a step-by-step -step guide on crossing the border used by 50 million people a year. Buenos dias, amigos. Good morning. I am up early. It's around 6.30 a.m. and I am walking over to the San Isidro border crossing right here from the main arch in downtown Tijuana. I asked at the front desk, she said, yeah, totally fine to walk at this hour. She's like, a lot of people take a cab, but a lot of people do walk. So I'm going to head over. It's about 20, 25 minutes from where I am now. Seems like a pretty easy walk and I'm hoping it does not take three to four hours for me to get through, even though I have plenty of time. Um, but yeah, I have a global entry, so I'm hoping that works, fingers crossed. If you don't have global entry, it's an amazing program offered by the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol, CBP. You have to pre-screen and go in for an interview, but then you get expedited entry into the U.S. I did watch a ton of YouTube videos on this yesterday, but almost everything showed crossing from the U.S. into Mexico and not the other way around. So hopefully I can show you guys that process today. The walk from Revolution Avenue and the Tijuana Arch downtown is lined with shops and restaurants, many of which are closed this early in the morning. The entire route is very well marked with blue signs to the USA. Of note, there are two entry points, pedestrian border crossing west or ped west as well as ped east. Ped west, which is closer to downtown Tijuana, is permanently closed now, so continue on to ped east, which is also known as the San Isidro border crossing. You will cross over a long pedestrian bridge over a multi-lane highway en route. Looking back, you can see the Tijuana Arch in the distance where I began this video. On the other side of the pedestrian bridge, continue on the walkway with more blue signs directing you to Ped East. On arrival, you will see the border crossing for cars first with the pedestrian line on the opposite side. You cross the line of cars for as far as you can see. On the opposite side, there are two lines, one for General on the left and one called Sentry on the right. Given the long wait times, people will spill over into the right lane, so just weave your way to the U.S. immigration officers at the gate if you have global entry, which allows you access to the Sentry line. I flashed my global entry card to the CBP officers at this first entry point where the formal lines start just ahead. Again, the general line is on the left, and thankfully, global entry card holders simply walk along the wall on the right, where eventually you will find the immigration hall with two entrances. The officers at the front of the general line grant access for the left door, but there's no one on the right-hand side, so you can just walk right through. After immigration and customs procedures, you exit the building just steps from the trolleys to downtown San Diego. Grab a trolley ticket using the Pronto self-service machine or download the app ahead of time. One-way tickets cost $2.50, and the trolleys depart every 15 minutes, and the journey takes about 45 minutes to downtown San Diego, where you can easily connect with the Amtrak to LA and beyond, or the bus to San Diego Airport. If you are flying out of the San Diego Airport, there is a fabulous Priority Pass lounge called Aspire that serves complimentary food drinks. They even have showers for both departing and arriving passengers. I've used it in both directions. If you don't have Priority Pass already, Andy and I love our Chase Sapphire Reserve travel credit card, which pays for both our global entry and Priority Pass as card benefits. We'll link more info on this incredible travel credit card in the description below if you wanna learn a little bit more about it for yourself. For this week's travel tip, other than of course, making sure you have global entry and TSA pre-check is another option to cross the border. It's called the Cross Border Express that you'll find at the Tijuana Airport. 
Andy actually just sent me two screenshots of direct flights to San Diego from Cancun. It is $238 on United, or you can fly to Tijuana for 1,293 pesos, which is $65 on Volaris, and then take the cross-border express and just walk straight from the airport into the US and then take either a, a shuttle or an Uber into the city. Well, that's it for this video on crossing the Mexico-US border by foot at both San Isidro and the Tijuana airport using the cross-border express. If you like this video, do us a favor and smash that like button and consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure. Hasta luego.